This is a clip from the Canon Podcast. To hear the full episode and get access to exclusive benefits, head over to patreon.com forward slash the Canon Pod and sign up for just £3 a month. I think the main concern for us now is this Sunday. The title race is still on. We are still there. We are surviving. Yeah, we can still do this. We, we believe, right? We are believers of this team. Uh, now, Man City played before Arsenal. They've got a big game, I believe, against Everton. Is it away from home? Yeah, Goodison Park. Now, I know Everton have just beaten Brighton away from home, four goals to nil. I'm scared if they... Oh, is it, was it 4-1? It was a 4-1. Um, I'm scared if they one, used it? up... Oh, it's a 5-1. Wow, okay. Okay, Sean Dyche has got a plan for me. Um, <laughs> but I, I, think, I think the idea is... I, I still expect for Man City to win because Man City are a robot. But if there is a game they can drop points in this, if there's a shock, it's a surprise, it might be Everton. But that's not my concern. My concern is Brighton because obviously Brighton will be a wounded animal. They have just lost a massive game at home but we have seen they've got the ability to cause some big big teams issues Brighton at the Emirates very quick preview for that game is there any changes that you want to see Mikel Arteta make to the lineup, Alex or George take it away um, no I think the <laughs> it's a short answer um, <laughs> there you go cheers um, I think the, the, returning to that game the thing that I felt with Brighton the, and the reason they got done so hard was De Zerbi is playing a very aggressive and, you know, a very modern and forward-thinking formation. He's trying a basically a 2-3-5, two, two, which even Mikel Arteta isn't brave enough to do. And uh, when you don't have the ball retention, which they really struggled with against Everton, you get counted on very quickly. And they had a lot of situations where they're in the transition. Um, so I think they'll set up in a very, very different way to us. I can't imagine that De Zerbi's going to try and do that against us because they'll get killed. Um, I think I think I'd stick with the same team. I, I don't see I don't see why not. I mean, we had a good performance. I think I possibly would bring in Trissard because he knows them, maybe. And there's a possibly a sort of maybe a more sort of soft factory dynamic there. But other than that, I can't see a reason to change it. Mm-hmm. What do you think, George? I think the biggest question is what will Brighton do. So. Um, I think that Arsenal will want to match uh, our game state. We won't change our play for anybody, but I do want to kind of impose what was it that Brighton struggled with, um, you know, this this last match day. And that was when you give them the space to build up, how do they break down a mid block? They can't. <laughs> so that was the answer that we saw um, this weekend. So is, is Mikel willing to kind of um, change a little bit and, and do that and kind of ask the question there? Listen, I don't, I don't think so. I think he feels that we can go and beat Brighton at their own game. Um, uh, Deserby seems to think that the real Brighton will show up, um, you know, on the weekend. But um, I, I, I am not confident that let's say that he can stop Arsenal in terms of their flow. I, I'm very confident with Kibior in the eleven right now, and I actually think, as much as I've, I've given uh, you know Zinchenko a tough time, I think it's the perfect game for him. If you are asking to build up and kind of be out of the press like that, you do want him in this match. It was just Newcastle. I felt that was the game for Kieran Tierney. Brighton, we've got one for Zinchenko. And how beautiful is it that you've got two profiles that you can have that flexibility as a coach? But some fans want to get rid of that flexibility, which is weird. But I think, yeah, no, we're not going to see many changes in terms of the squad. But what I do think we may see is maybe a little bit more commitment to... um, kind of principles of the past so I, I think that Brighton will be a very uh, easy is probably controversial but I think that Brighton will be a comfortable win okay that's perfectly fine well personally Brighton for me is a little bit techy. I know Brighton what they can do to Arsenal and we, you know the game at the uh, uh, you know their ground we blew them out of the water at the start but they had us pinned back for a while and that was without Caicedo and I think a few other key players as well so I think it will be difficult and also let's not forget last season at the Emirates Stadium, you know, it was Trossard and it was someone else who scored. Who was it? I think Mwepu. I think it was, was it 3-1 or some, something like that? It was I had the game, very, mate. That's why we stole him. That's why, that's yeah, why we got him. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's probably why it is as well. But um, I think, I think yeah, I, I'm probably going to go for an Arsenal win as well. I think we can do it. I think they get three wins in a row and, you know, with the Forest away and then Wolves at home as the final two. If Brighton can do us a favour, if Brentford can do us a favour and Everton, I'm not even going to talk about Chelsea. I don't think they deserve to be in a conversation. <laughs> Then maybe, then maybe. But uh, what do you think, Alex? <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> um, it's all to play for. But I, 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 I was convinced. Honestly, before the Saliba injury, I was like, I was on it. I was like, look, we're on for a ni- on for a ninety-six point 
performance or something. Didn't Man United win the title in 2011 with on 80 points or something? I was like, come, surely that'll be enough. Yeah. And I, I didn't even feel that we needed to go to the SEAD and get a result. I, I thought we could go there, draw, even lose, and we'd still win the title. And I just think those... Southampton. Yeah. Well, Southampton and a number of... Yeah, yeah, it's just a number of different results. Look, we've just got to we've just got to hope and pray that Ivan Tony has something for us, that Matoma has something for us, that Sean Dyche has something for us, because the, the one thing I will say, the one thing that's been encouraging is I City have played a lot of football. They're playing a lot of football at the moment, and they don't have Nathan Ake, who's now gone out again. He's not in the lineup tonight. Um, we're recording this while they're about to play Real Madrid, or while playing Real Madrid. Um, so, yeah, I... I don't think it's going to happen, but I wouldn't rule it out, which basically is the definition of sitting on the fence. <laughs> we'll take anything at this stage of time, I'll be honest, we'll take anything. Thanks for checking out the Canon Podcast. To get full episodes and access to exclusive benefits, head over to patreon.com forward slash the Canon Pod and sign up for just £3 a month.